Hey everyone, this is Ryan Bush, and today I wanted to talk about my book Landry's Last Stand. I just released the hardcover edition for this book. It's in my store on my website, ryanbush.biz. You can find that on Amazon. Buy it. But today, I want to talk about a topic that's come up with this book. I've had several people question the reason why why the six, first six chapters of this book deal with the sale of the team from Clint Murkison Jr. to Bum Bright. So today, I'm going to address why I included that section in the book. Okay, and to do that, I'm going to back up and take you back into my own personal, the writing process that I went through to write this book. So, I'm about probably halfway through writing the book, okay? And I'm, this book deals with, ultimately deals with the Cowboys 1985 season. So I'm about halfway through the, through the season, you know, writing along. I'm, I've already researched most of it, and I'm, I'm rolling. But something keeps bugging me. Something I felt, I felt like with my original premise was wrong. And I couldn't figure out why. And it bugged me. But I couldn't figure out why, so I just had to keep working, keep writing, keep doing the research. And I did that, and then all of a sudden one day, it clicked. I realized where I went wrong. So I backed up, I tore up all my writing, and I started over. And here's one of the things I realized, was that for us as fans, and for us as, whether it's a story and sports writers, when we look back upon the Dallas Cowboys' 1980s, the 1980s, that decade for the team, we tend to look at it in a negative light, because we know what happened. We know that there was this descent from one of the best teams in the NFL at the beginning of the decade. By the end of 1988, they crashed and burned, Tom Landry's on his way out. And it's a whole new beginning. Jerry Jones comes in and they start from scratch, basically, as an organization. When we look back upon it, we tend to look upon it as, from a uh, standpoint of failure, we ask the question, what happened to the Dallas Cowboys? And we go from there. And what I had to do was, I had to back up and I had to rephrase the question. Instead of asking, what happened to the Cowboys? Why did they fail? Why don't uh, I had to rephrase it and say, why were they ever successful in the first place? Why did they have this glorious two decade run from 1966 through 1985? And when I phrased the question that way to myself and began researching from that standpoint, everything changed. And Here's what I realized, okay? There are two theories out there, predominantly, on um, among fans and even sports writers, okay? Because I see this question um, discussed on social media all the time. What happened? I'm sorry, where did, when did the original America's team end? There are two theories, okay? Now, one is that the uh, original America's team ended when... Jerry Jones bought the Cowboys in 1989. Another theory is that the original America's team died when Roger Staubach retired. But what I found was that Clint Murkison Jr., the original owner of the Dallas Cowboys, was the key to all the success during that, that run of brilliance with Tom Landry, Tex Stram. Clint Murkison Jr. was the key. And here's why I say that. With all due respect to Landry and Tram, Gil Brandt, Murkison, Clint Murkison Jr. was the glue that held that organization together. He was the man that allowed them to succeed. Clint Murkison Jr. was the perfect owner. Hands-off ownership. Hiring the right people helped. He had to hire the right guys, Landry, Tram, Gil Brandt, and allow those guys to do their job. He was the reason the Cowboys were so successful. He was the foundational reason. Whatever the team needed, 
money. There was no there was no spending cap for for Tex Tram. Whatever the, the team needed, the Cowboys operated on the up and up. They were a first class organization. Money was no object when Clint Murkison Jr. was the owner. But that all changed when Murkison's empire crashed in the early 80s and he was forced to sell the team. Bum Bright comes in as the owner and he puts pressure on Landry. And what you find in this book, in Landry's Last Stand, is that 1985 was Tom Landry's last chance to save the original structure of America's team. And by that, I mean the way they operated. The, the, the reality of Landry being in control of all the football details, his staff included. This was his last chance to keep all this intact. This was Tex Tram's last chance to operate on a, how would you put it, a, without a salary cap as a general manager. And what happened was, so there's this race. You get to see this is the pressures on Landry and the pressures on Tram too, but the focus is on Landry as he and the Cowboys battle through the 1985 season. Nobody gave him the, really a chance to do anything much of anything good. The team overachieves, makes the playoffs, but it wasn't enough. And this is when the Cowboys changed at the end of 1985. Bum Bright moves in on Shram, and Shram makes changes to Landry's coaching staff. And before, that would never have happened with Clint Murkison Jr. Nobody touched Landry's coaching staff. And what you had, this was one change, the coaching staff, but what you had was the Cowboys operating from that point on as a dysfunctional organization. 86, 87, 88, the Cowboys were not the same Cowboys. They just weren't. And it showed on the field. What you saw on the field in those three seasons of Tom Langey's last three years was indicative of the dysfunction that was going on in the front office. So that's why I included the first six chapters in this book because you get to see and understand the, the context of really, really the 1980s. It's the entire decade. And you get to understand why the Cowboys ultimately fail. And along the way, you get to understand the true context, the true context for the Dallas Cowboys' 1985 season. So there you go. Pick up the book. If you haven't read this book, pick it up today. Because whether you're a Cowboys fan, just a football fan in general, you'll learn something. And if you're a sports writer needing to do some work, Need to, needing to do some study on this particular era of Cowboys history, pick it up. So there's some really good stuff in there. Okay, if you have any questions, any comments, just leave them down below and I'll respond to you as quickly as possible. Okay, I'm Ryan Bush and I'll talk to you again real soon.